Good day, sir. We are group 11 from IA1. I'm the leader, Ao Su En. I'm the group member, Tan Hong Han. I'm a group member, Pang Jing Sen. I'm a group member, Chong Hui Shan. Okay. Today, we want to present our assignment. We identify several potential risks by visiting Seng Heng Syndrome Berhad. Now, let's introduce the company first. So, uh, Seng Heng Motor Syndrome Berhad was established in uh, 1960. This company started its business from repairing motor, cycle, and car. So currently, this company has stopped to repair. They are now selling recon cars. Their main selling product is import recon car from foreign uh, foreign country. In addition of selling car, they are also a part of car insurance agents. From what we heard from the by the director, uh, the company is a family business. The father of the seven sons passed the uh, the father passed the business to the seven sons. Then now uh, we talk why we choosing the why we choosing Seng Heng Syndrome Bahad as our analysis target. Uh, first through the conversation with Seng Heng director, we found out some potential risks in their company, which is the reason why we choose Seng Heng Syndrome Bahad as our analysis target. By studying Seng Heng risk profile from the director, our team believe that we can provide our knowledge of information, uh, assurance, and security to help Sing Hing mitigating the possible problem. In addition, during the communication between our team and Sing Hing director, Sing Hing was very uh, friendly us, uh, very friendly to us, and been actively pro 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 cooperating with our investigation providing important uh, information as much as possible. We believe that not every company is obligated to be very friendly to us, but uh, because they might be pretty um, busy in their work. So now pass to Hong Han. Okay, so the problem of Seng Hin's Motor Syndrome Berhad is um, Seng Hin's Motor Syndrome Berhad has been in operation for a long time and has built an extensive client base. Although having a large customer base is generally regarded as a good thing, company is currently having a trouble because they are unable to handle their customers' data efficiently. The company's data collecting and storage procedures are currently scattered and ineffective. There are many different places where customer information is kept, such as handwritten notes or spreadsheets. Employees struggle to access the information they require quickly due to the lack of centralization, which may result in mistakes or duplicate data entering. Because of this, client information is not being tracked and analyzed in an organized way which may eventually harm the company's reputation. The company is losing out on valuable possibilities of building stronger relationship with its customers as a result of this disorganization. The salesman might not be able to suggest the best vehicle or service to a customer if they are unable to immediately assess information about the customer's previous purchases, preferences, or needs. The company might lose sales and income as a result of this. Furthermore, Sanghins also does not provide lots of IT supports for servers, computers, systems, and etc. They have no additional or advanced antivirus so software for more prevention, detection, and deletion of servers. Last but not least, having an excellent online presence is crucial for organizations of all sizes in today's digital age. Traditional car dealerships that lacks a user-friendly website or social media platform may find it difficult to compete with competitors or attract in new clients. Method 
the method we use in this project is qualitative risk assessment. What is qualitative risk assessment? Qualitative risk assessment is the project of detecting, analyzing, and evaluating hazard in an organization. Qualitative risk analysis applies subjective judgment to assess the likelihood of a risk occurring and its impact on a business. This approach yields a list of risks together with their accompanying probabilities and implications. Project managers frequently do this early in the project planning process and revisit them as the project continues and requirements change. This assists the company in developing better methods for dealing with risk of determining whether an opportunity is worth purchasing. Why is qualitative? Qualitative risk analysis can assist a project in focusing on risks that have the potential to have a substantial influence on this project. They might prioritize effort and resource to content hazard based on their impact. It will add the appropriate allocation of resource to deal with the project hazard. It can assist them in efficiently marshalling the project teams and resources when any of the highlight hazard occurs. This will significantly reduce the influence of advice events on the project's outcome. We think the we think the we, we think this is the best way for Sengheng Motor Sendram Bahad to deal with their risk. After talking the risk assessment, now we talk about the potential risk in Sengheng Motor Sendram Bahad. The first risk is lack of data analysis and insight. The director told us that most of the record were recorded in hard copy and some in Microsoft Excel, but they will only use Microsoft Excel for simple record, not Microsoft Excel expert analysis and calculation function. As a result, their data may be many error and it's not possible to analyze the need of customer and the market simply and quickly. So for the next risk is possibility running out of storage. The director of Sengheng Moto Sendran Berhad told us that all their soft copy record will store in the computer. When the computer memory is full, then we'll transfer the dot computer data into a hard disk. This will cause data redundancy and if the hard disk has lost, they don't have the backup. They do not have a well-developed and secure data storage system. So for the next risk is hardware follow due to quality and age of the server. Business continuity may be, may be greatly impacted by server hardware failure. Important service may be interrupted. Conductivity will suffer and income will be lost if Kuro server fall, falls for an extended period. Organization may be unable to carry out essential tasks, access curated data, or offer service to clients, which could harm the, their reputation and relation with clients. Important data kept on server may be lost or corporate because of hardware follow. Data recovery could be time consuming, expensive, or even impossible if suitable backup and record the recovery prot protocol are not in place. So for the next risk is hard copy record might be lost or damaged. Senghe Moto Sendran Bahad store their hard copy record in their storeroom. If there are, are some natural disaster or some man-made damage like flow, fire, their company would face the damage of all the important files and loss of those important records that store in their storeroom. For my part, in the last uh, risk is employee sabotage. Employee sabotage is a risk that organizations face when their own employee engage in intentional harmful activity that can cause damage to the company, its asset, reputation, or other employee. 
in addition to their own family member working in it, they are, they also hire people from outside to handle their compu uh, company. It's not, uh, it's not that outside will necessarily harm the company, but the odds are greater than family member. It is important for organization to be vigilant and proactive in identifying and mitigating the risk of employee sabotage. So now I pass to uh, Hong Han. I'm going to pre uh, I'm going to present the next risk. Uh, the next is human made error while documenting. Documents may include inaccurate or missing information due to human error. This can happen due to several reasons, such as incorrect interpretation, oversight, intention to detail, or insufficient verification procedures. Inaccurate information may result in poorly informed decisions, ineffective operations, or non-compliance, among other serious effects. Their, secret their secretary told us that they have been fined because they had wrongly recorded the due date that they required to submit to the government department. The next is unreliable antivirus software. For businesses, faulty antivirus software is a major worry. Antivirus software provided with new computers or offered for free often comes with a limit license period for two to three years. When compared to commercial versions, free or default in free or default antivirus software may be lacking in, in, in advanced features and functionality. Devices with few functionalities can be more vulnerable to sophisticated malware assaults and other security flaws. The charge-free antivirus software will not provide the antivirus so long. It may stop to update and upgrade the software until the user purchase the antivirus software. This will cause the device exposed to new virus attack. The next one is lack of information, assurance, and security knowledge. The director of Senghin Motors and Rambaha told us that they were a family business, which is a group of brothers managing the company with no higher education. They led by their father and started the car selling business. None of them were educated on how to manage and protect the company's data. They may accidentally harm or leak the information system of their company. And the next one is lack of lack of security patching and updates. Companies do not frequently get professionals to check their device for issuing, failing to apply security patches promptly and updates to software operating system and network infrastructure. Hackers hack the system by these vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access, compromise systems, or steal sensitive information. And the next one is unsecure remote access. During MTO, Senghi Motors and Drambaha face the risk of unsecure remote access to their system and networks. They held meetings every week through remote software. A corporation may be vulnerable to unauthorized access and data breaches due to the inadequate security measures, such as lax remote access protocols, unprotected Wi-Fi networks, or a lack of multi-factor authentication. So I pass to my group mate. For the next risk is weak physical security. A company physical asset, facility, and resources are protected by a weak physical security, which is defined as influential, self-gate and control. It includes flow that could be used by an authorized people to enter secure area, still tangible property. Interfere with either infrastructure or jeopardize the overall security of the company. It will jeopardize the asset availability, confidentiality, and integrity okay for the next risk is data retention and deposit Shanghai motor shagat bahad has been established for more than 30 years and their company has accumulated a large amount of data the danger of data breach and and authorized assets might increase if obsolete or unneeded data is not properly disposed of. To reduce the, this danger, it is correct to use 
secure data deposit and appropriate data retention for CDUs. Okay, for the next risk is social media risk. This relate to data privacy, brand reputation, and pricing attempts access of business that use social media platform for marketing or communication. Two social media channels employee run the risk of unintentional disclosing private information or falling for social engineering scams. Okay, for the next risk is poorly tested problem. Poorly tested incident response strategies might jeopardize a company's capacity to handle security problems problem successfully, it could be challenging for the business to find any holes or vulnerability in this incident response protocol without consistent testing and simulation. For the next risk is third-party risk. The company offer real on third-party vendors or service provider for the version as of their operation, including ID infrastructure, cloud service, or data, data storage. Data and system of the organization may be vulnerable to security branch due to the adequate of interagency, quality, construction agreement, or careless security procedures provided by the third party. I will pass the next person to present the other risk. The next uh, risk that we identify is reduced efficiency in inventory management. Sengheng Motor Sandra Berhad is currently rely on Microsoft Excel for inventory management, but lack proficiency in using advanced Excel functions. Manual data entry and calculation in Excel can introduce a higher risk of errors, such as incorrect formulas, data duplication, or incorrect stock tracking. Manual inventory tracking can result in accuracy, stock out, or overstocking, leading to loss sales, increased carrying out costs, and decreased customer certification. The next risk is office door does not have a smart lock or any form of control access. The Senghen office door does not have a smart lock or form of control access. It can pose several security risks and challenge. Without a secure lock system, anyone can enter the office easily. The increase the risk of unauthorized access and potentially security breach during we interview. During the interview, we saw the postman enter the company without any difficulty. Although the employees of Seng Hing know this postman well, there, there were still some potential risks. The next risk is the higher operational cost. When compared to co computerized alternative, non-digital operations frequently demand more resources, such as manpower, paper-based documentation, and physical storage. Leading to the next mm -hmm. risk is the lack of innovation. The creation of new goods, service, and business model is frequently made possible by computerization. Without it, the business could find it difficult to adjust to evolving market condition and technology development. The next risk is limited marketing and advertising reach. The marketing efforts and potential of growth of a firm can be significantly impacted by limited advertising reach. The company advertising efforts are restricted to a small pool of potential buyers without expanding its audience. This could make it more difficult for the business to find a new client, grow its client-led and boost sales. Next, I would like to talk about the access risk exposure. We weigh two factors, the likelihood that the risk will be investigated and the ramification of the exposure. By multiplying the score for likelihood and ease of consequence, we can calculate the risk. The first table describes the score for each likelihood. 
And the second table shows the risk exposure metric, which is five point scale need to determine the inadvertent consequence. Uh, the next slide. Uh, the third table shows the rank of risk and their description. Then we can create the fourth table using those tables which list the potential hazard sinking phase they are ranking. Okay. Tui San, after talking the potential risk in sinking motor syndrome perhaps, now we provide information of this plan to address or mitigate the occurrence of risk. We divide this plan into mitigation plans, monitoring plan and emergency response plan. So for the first risk, I have the plan is mitigation plan, data gathering and storage. Singhing Motor Syndrome Bahad must make sure that the right data is gathered from diverse sources and that a safe storage architecture is in place. This involves putting data management mechanism into place and ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of the data. Furthermore, tools and techniques for data analysis they need to invest into cutting edge data analysis tool and technique include statistical modeling, machine learning, and data mining. Employees should be taught how to use these tool and access to the necessary gear and software should be guaranteed. So for the monitoring plan is implementing real-time monitoring tool to be to keep tab of data quality, system performance, and procedure, procedure for analyzing. This enables prompt in issue discovery and quick intervention and conduct routing audit of the methodology, tools, and procedure used in data analysis. This makes ensuring that the system comply with ensuring standard and best, best practice and act in identifying any gap, bottleneck, and INEC fission. So for the next, uh, emergency response plan, establish backup strategy to lessen the effects of a loss of data analysis and insight as a contingency measure. This step is to guarantee that important adjustment may be, this may involve temporary, temporary work around other data sources as human analytic technique. In addition, they need to prepare a documentation and lesson learn for future and keep a record of all occurrence, reply and resolution. Review the incident after max to find lesson learned and put them into practice to avoid such crisis in the in the future. So the, for the next is risk is possibility running out of storage. For the food mitigation plan, run uh, regularly evaluate the storage uh, requirement based on the business demand, data growth pattern, and estimate for the forensible future. Run capacity planning activity to determine your future storage demand and make sure you have enough resources and data cleaning and achieve, achieving, creating guidelines and practice for data preservation and deletion. To free up storage space, identify, identify and achieve no non-critical or seldom used data. They must regularly delete update of users data and establish retention period for various types of data. So for the monetary plan, forecasting and trending to predict future storage need. Combine historical data with forensic method. Monitoring the performance of a storage system include keeping an eyes on metrics and such as read or write speed, latency and IOPS identify an, any performance degradation caused by storage contraction and take appropriate section. So for the emergency response plan is to prevent any emergency sinking syndrome perhaps should store important data and application first. Take interim measure such as data achieving, 
purging and loft loading to alternate storage options until additional additional capacity become available. Then monitor storage usage level in real time by setting up automate mo monitoring to set through hall to warm when storage capacity uh, exceeds critical level. For the next uh, risk is hardware failure due to quality and age of the server. So for the mitigation plan is the uh, management team of St. Hing Syndrome Bahad need to invite professional to implement a proactive maintenance strategy to ensure that servers are regularly inspected, cleaned, and tested. This requires tracking the health of hardware, upgrading software, and replacing parts that are near fellow. The worker of St. Hing Syndrome Bahad should re regularly evaluate the server farm and make a timely hardware update plan. For the monitoring plan, implement server help monitoring tool to track the performance and state of hardware component. This server temperature, fan speed, this help memory consumption and CPU utilization are more monitored during the process. Along the way, configure automatic alert and uh, notification to quickly notify IT of possible hardware issue or anomalies. Set alert level based on subjected value and past performance information. For the emergency response plan, spare equipment and replacement strategy facilitate quick, quick replacement by having additional server hardware inventory on hand. Create a replacement strategy, include method for service migration, data re recovery and backup restoration to ensure minimal dock time. They will need to establish method for quickly diagnosing hardware fellow and locating affected component. Create checklist and troubleshooting instruction to speed up resolution process. So for the next is card copy record might be lost or damaged. For the mitigation plan, the company should implement a di digitalization process that convert paper record into digital version. This can make the need of physical copy and provide I uh, provide backup if their hard copy are damaged or lost. Please make sure the digital record are properly indexed or organized for quickly uh, for quick re retrieval. While having a backup copy, make extra copy of important hard copy document and keep them separate. This ensure redundancy and reduce the risk of data loss of total loss in the event of the such of the uh, of a set of record. For the monitoring plan is to try to install a security monitoring system to monitor and identify any unauthorized entry or possible trip going near to the physical record storage site. They need to check the file regularly and keep the surveillance video safely. Create treat so and alert to notify employee of an anomalies that could lead to record cooperation. For the emergency response plan, Singhing Motor Syndrome Bahad need to keep a list of emergency contacts, including the local official environmental list and document restaurant agency to be able to respond quickly when facing in a recreancy make sure that the content information is available. An alternative way, you can use priority and critical record. Which list and rank critical record that require immediate attention in the event of loss of cooperation. By doing this, you can ensure that the most important record are restored first. For the next and uh, risk is employee sabotage. For the uh, mitigation plan, the management team should conduct regular training sections to educate 
employee on ethical behavior, security, best practice, and the potential impact of breach. Foster an env environment of honesty and accountability throughout the company. This helps establish a uh, st standard of corporate behavior and the cost to of destructive behavior. For the monetary plan, a security awareness program is a great way to keep employees informed about incident threat and the danger of breach through a security awareness program. The company needs to encourage a positive workplace culture and join employees to report any inappropriate behavior that they see. Try to maintain a continuous improvement, regularly evaluating and updating monetary strategy based on new risks. Technology develop, audit, or accident experience lesson. So the last is emergency response plan. Legal and discipline, disciplinary procedure should be taken against uh, agents those involved in the sabotage in accordance with the organization policy and local law. If illegal activity is suspected, cooperate with law enforcement official and, if necessary, enlist legal representation to help you negotiate with the court system. Accession to rapid situational assessment and insulation. Where brief and suspect, suspected immediately analyze the situation, isolated affected system or location and collect data for further res research. They will need to take urgent steps to mitigate the impact and prevent further damage. I'm going to continue the risk management. So I'm going to continue the risk management plan. Six is human main human made error while documenting. So the mitigation plan is they need to develop a standardized documentation process, including templates, best practice, and guidelines to ensure consistency and accuracy for documentation. Try to provide the information clearly to all employees involved in the documentation task. They must couple with tra training and education, provide in-depth guidance on best practices and procedures for staff handling documentation. For the monitoring plan, procedures for reviewing and improving documents should be established for important documents. A designated responsible person or team checks the correctness and completeness of the paper before it is finalized and disseminated. They need to utilize version control tools or document management software to track changes and modifications made to cut documents Instead, try to identify problems and track down their causes. Keep a transparent audit trial of all adjustment. The emergency response plan is identifying and validating issues in documentation requires a quick process. Employees are encouraged to report errors they see and provides a system for timely reporting and correction. By preventing having a correction and retraction procedures to create a process of for correcting and retracting inaccurate paperwork. Determine the roles and due dates for updates as needed and ensure revisions are distributed to appropriate stakeholders. So the next one is unreliable antivirus software. The mitigation plan is vendor research and evaluation is all about conducting extensive research and evaluating several antivirus software vendors before selecting one. To verify the reliability and validity, try to consider the factors such as reputation, track records, customer testimonials, and independent test results. They must update the antivirus regularly and patch management is also an essential step. These two steps is to ensure that the antivirus program is regularly updated with the latest security updates, patches, and virus definitions. Establish procedures for updating software and monitoring it to protect it from new threats. It is also possible to implement a multi-layer security strategy that includes supplemental protection measures in addition to antivirus software. To provide multiple levels of protection, this may include firewalls, 
intrusion detection systems, secure email gateways, and web filtering technologies. The following monitoring, the following monitoring plan is performance monitoring to keep an eye on the efficiency of your antivirus program in terms of scan time, resource consumption, and system impact. Frequently review performance metrics for any deterioration or anomalies anomalies that may indicate reliability issues. User opinions and satisfaction surveys are also available to obtain user opinions on their experience with antivirus program. To determine how users perceive the software's reliability and efficiency, conduct a satisfaction su survey. Use this input to address any issues or potential areas of improvement. Emergency response plan. A well-defined procedure should be in place for reporting and escalating security incidents involving suspect antivirus software. Employees should be urged to report problems as they arise, and incidents response teams should have clear escalation procedures in place. Thoroughly analyze security incidents to, answer that, to understand their impact, identify their root causes, and develop effective mitigation plans. This may require temporarily disabling the antivirus program, taking alternative protection measures, or contacting the software manufacturer to, for support. The next risk management plan is lack of information assurance and security knowledge. So, as Sanghin, Sandran Berhad should implement through training and edu educational initiatives to improve staff members' awareness of information assurance and security. They must provide trainings, workshops, and online resources on subjects including incidents response, safe coding techniques, maintaining strong password, and data security. Conduct frequently security awareness initiatives to encourage a security conscious culture inside the organization. Employing a variety of communication methods to tell staff members of the value of information assurance and security procedures such as posters, newsletters, and emails reminders. The monitoring plan is using key performance indicators, KPIs, for security to evaluate the overall security posture of the organization, define and monitor security metrics and KPIs. Metrics like the quantity of security events, the success rate of phishing simulation, staff training completion rates, and vulnerability patches rates are a few examples. Regular security audits and assessments should be performed to gauge the efficiency of the organization's security procedures and controls. Use data to pinpoint areas that might use improvement and put remedial measures in place. <coughs> And the emergency response plan is to establish uh, precise procedures for reporting security issues and notifying incidents response team of their escalation. Ensure staff understand how to report incidents to appropriate individuals and pro provide information on when and how to report incidents. To explore and understand the underlying causes of security incidents, Incidents analysis methods are developed. Once the root cause is identified, take the necessary corrective actions to correct the weaknesses, plug the security gap, and prevent future occurrence of the same type. The following is slide of security patching and updated. Uh, establish a comprehensive patch management strategy outlining the organization's strategy for discovering, testing, deploying, and validating security fixes and updates. The policy should include guidance for prioritizing critical fixes and ensuring timely implementation. Then there is an automated patching solution and, make, and to make the patching process more efficient, use an automated patching management solution. This solution can help to plan and deploy updates across an organization by eliminating manual work and ensuring consistent patching across systems. Conduct routine vulnerability scans to find systems and applications that need patching. Leverage 
vulnerability scanning technology to find unpatched system and prioritize remediation efforts based on severity. So the monitoring so the monitoring plan is implement a patch compliances monitoring system to keep tabs on how patches are distributed across systems and applications. Identify any areas of non-compliance while tracking the percentage of systems with the latest patches installed. Conduct routine vulnerability scans and assessment to identify system or application that are missing critical fixes. Leverage vulnerability management techniques to organize and monitor remediation action. The security event monitoring is to cap an eye on security event logs and alerts for any signs of breach or evidence of exploitation related to unpatched vulnerabilities. And to centralize and analyze security events, use a solid log management and security information and event SIEM system. The emergency response plan is rapid patch deployment is the process of prioritizing and expediting the release of required fixes when a security incident occurs or a critical vulnerability is discovered and put emergency patching techniques into action to reduce the window of vulnerability. The other is containment and mitigation. If an unpatched system is the cause of a security incident, isolate the system from the network or take appropriate containment measures to mitigate the damage. As fixes are installed, implement compensating controls such as network segmentation or short-term workaround. And the tenth risk management plan is unsecured remote access. And for the mitigation plan, implement robust authentication technology such as two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication for remote access. To ensure that only authorized users can access remote resources, implement strict access controls such as role-based assessment permissions. Use a secure virtual private mode, eh, private network VPN for remote access. To prevent data transmission from being intercept or event drops, a, a VPN creates an encrypted tunnel between the remote user and the corporate network. The monitoring plan is uh, using instruction detection and prevention system. It's either IDS or IPS. It's the development of IDS IPS solutions to monitor network traffic and detect any malicious or unauthorized activity related to remove access. Set up alerts and notifications to respond promptly to any detected security incidents. User behavior monitoring to implement a user behavior monitoring solutions to detect anomalous or unusual remote access behavior. Monitor for unusual lock-in times, multiple simultaneous lock-ins or access from unexpected geographic locations, which may indicate that a user account has been compromised. And the emergency response plan is rapid response and mitigation are all about disconnecting or stopping compromised remote access account or connection as quickly as possible in the event of a security incident. Control the incidents by, talk, by taking the necessary precautions to limit possible harm and prevent other unauthorized access. To determine the scope and impact of a security issue, conduct a foreseen study. To prevent this in future, pinpoint the source of the problem and any possible weaknesses in remote access infrastructure. So I'm going to pass to the next person to continue the risk management system plan. Risk management plan. Okay, <clears throat> the risk management plan of the weak fix physical security uh, of the mitigation plan. I think that Singhing Sharika Baha should consist some science strategies such as access control, security personnel, and conduct some security awareness. The company, the company should implement robust access control mechanisms such as card, key card system, biometric authentication or visitor management protocol to ensure that only authorized people can enter. Furthermore, they could hire someone who are trained to identify and address the potential security trends such as security guard. The company should contain 
conduct the awareness training program for the employee and ed educate them about the weight security practice. For the monitoring plan, this company can conduct some plans such as video surveillance, instruction detection system, and incident reporting to monitor the risk. The management can install a video surveillance camera in some critical area to monitor or record activity. They can view the camera view feeds from time to time by implementing a centralized monitoring system. Other than that, they can install instruction detection system can, that can detect and alert security personnel of any unauthorized inter attempts or subscription activity. They can try to introduce an incident reporting system where employee can report any incident or concert they avoid. For the emergency response plan, the, agent, the emergency response plan that can be applied uh, establish an incident re response team and list the emergency conduct. When there is incident happen, reach out to the incident response one team to handle the security incident. The other is calling the emergency contact. When people become nervous, they will not remember the emergency contact, so list it out of the contact. Okay, next is the data retention and deposit. Mitigation plan. The mitigation plan of this risk are data retention policy regular data inventory and secure data deposit. The company can address a clean and brief data retention policy that outline the retention period of different type of data. In addition, in, in addition, they could conduct regular data inventory assessment to identify a solid or uh, unneeded data. This will help determine the operate retention period and this disposal method for different type of data also they can implement secure data disposal method as a data webbing or physical data destruction to ensure that delete data will not be recovered for the monitoring plan second sharika bahad need to be focused on the data access control auditing and logging and employee training. They need to implement access control to restrict and authorize access to sensitive data. Regularly review and update access privileges to ensure that only other personnel can access and modify data. Other than that, implementing auditing and logging machinists to track the data access, modification, and deposit activity. The management team can review the audit log to detect any sufficient or unauthorized activity. They should provide training for the employee and education about the importance of the data retention. For the emergency response plan, they should enter a data breach response procedures and define a step-by-step -step process of responding of data breach including content, containment, investigation, notification, and recovery. Ensure complies with applicable data breach notification law and regulation. For the next is social media risk. For the Mitigation plan for the next is social media risk. Okay, for the mitigation plan, as Seng Heng Bahad is established by branch of brother who stopped their study after secondary school, they might feel complicated when using the social media. 
they should know the social media policy and have strong password and two-factor authentication while using. They can develop a comprehensive social media policy that outline guidelines such as data privacy, content sharing, interacting with customer, and identify identifying phishing attempts. Also creating a strong password with add an extra layer of security and reduce the risk of an outer list access. For the monitoring plan, the manager team should assign someone to monitor the social media privacy and the account. The person in charge can establish centralized management of office social media account to ensure proper oversight and control. Furthermore, implement, implement social media monitoring tools that can track, mention, tags, and keyword relate to, com to company. This will help identify any potential reputation, risk, and phishing attempts. For the emergency response plan, they can establish screen communication protocol for the addressing social media incident incidents, including in the internal notification, external communication, and coordination with public relation or legal team. This ensure a coordinated and effective response. If unfortunate the reputation got damaged, they can try drafting public statement, ensuring correction, or conducting public awareness campaign to address any misinformation or negative impact. For the next one is poorly tested problem. Mitigation plan for this risk, the company should end Guess third party security expect to contact to conduct external audit and assessment of the incident response plan. Their impact impact then perspective can help identify blind spot and provide recommendation for the improvement after audit. They should review and update the incident response plan based on the risk lesson learned from testing and simulation exercise. Try to accept feedback and insight on uh, to improve the plan and address any identified weakness. For the monitoring plan, define the track incident relax metrics on KPIs to mention the effects effectiveness of the incident response strategy. This can include metric like mean to the detect MTTD and mean to the respond MTTR. After de defining, they should include an, an analyzing post incidents response, assessing the adequacy of the response and identifying opportunity of Enhancement. For the emergency response plan, the manager team should interpret screen escape action procedures that define when and how incidents should be escalated to highest manager or external entities. This ensure a timely and appropriate response to incident. They can also need a development, a develop a comprehensive communication plan that outline how internal and external communication will be handled during a security incident. This includes predefined pre communication templates and key contact information for the relevant uh, stakeholder. For the next one is the party race. The mitigation plan of the third party risk, the company should compare the 
vendors before they create the relevant third party application. Assess potential vendors based on their security practice, certification, reputation, and track record. Perform due diligence to ensure that align with your organization organization security requirements sometimes they should conduct regular security assessment of the party victims to revalue their security controls process and compliance with contractual application this can include on-site audit vulnerability assessment or requesting security assessment re report from impedance audit third for the monitoring plan try to define and track performance metrics related to security and compliance for third party patterns regularly monitor their adherence to construction application incident response time and on ongoing security updates when the conduct renewal that is about to search to to reach to re review the security practice and performance of the party victims assess their ongoing commitment to security and evaluate if any chance of improvement are necessary for the emergency response plan and establish clean communication channel and exception procedures to promptly notify key stakeholder about security incident involving third party victims. This includes internal team, executive, legal concern, and potentially affect customer or partner. Conduct post incident as analysis and document lessons learned from security incident involving the party victims. Use this information to improve incident response procedures, enhance victim selection process, and strengthen contract colors related to security. So I will pass to next person to present the other risk manager plan. Thank you, Jingshen. The next risk is the reduced efficiency in inventory management. The mitigation plan we provide is the company can implement an automated inventory management system that provides more advanced features and efficiency than Excel. This may include real-time tracking report and many more. To use the implement system, they should also provide comprehensive training to employees so that they can focus the reduced manual error. For the monitoring plan, in case of any mistake, they can do regular system maintenance and checking to ensure the information. Stay up to date with the latest software release and page provided by the system vendor. Also, having meeting with the employees that use the system to receive their feedback upon the trial of the system. The next one is the emergency response plan. The develop, uh, develop the contingency plan to address potential disruption in the inventory management process. This may include backup procedure, alternative inventory tracking methods, or manual work around to ensure minimal disruption to operation during emergencies. The next risk is office store do not have a smart lock or any form control success. For the mitigation plan we provide is the install a small install a smart lock system on the office store that provide control access. This can include features such as keyless entry, access control card, or biometric authentication. Choose a reliable and secure smart lock system that meet the specific security requirement of syncing. After installation, establish access control policy that define who have authorized access to the office. Limit access to only employees and approved visitors who need enter the premise. 
develop a process for granting and revoking access privilege as per company policies. The so next for the mi mi monitoring plans, Sang Heng uh, Sandiram Bahad should install surveillance cameras in key areas, including the entrance and exit point of the office. Ensure the cameras provide sufficient coverage and resolution for clear identification of individuals entering or leaving the premises. Monitor and monitor the surveillance footage in real time and retain recording for the specific period. For the emergency response plan, develop procedures for investigation security incident related to unauthorized access. This includes determining the cost, assessing the impact, and implementing necessary remediation measures. This may involve updating access control system, enhancing security protocol, or conducting disciplinary action of require, if required. The next of higher operational costs uh, for the mitigation plan, uh, we need to identify the areas of the business that can be digitized to reduce reliances on manual process and paper-based documentation. Implement digital tools and systems that automate tasks, streamline operation, and improve efficiency. This can include adopting electronic document management system, cloud-based storage solution, and workflow automation software. For the monitoring plan, Develop a financial contingency plan to address an expected cost increase or financial challenge. This may Im involve identifying reserve fund, establish line of, of credit, or exploring cost-cutting measures to mitigate the impact of financial emergencies. Establish a culture of continuous improvement by encouraging employees to identify and suggest cost-saving opportunity. Implement a system to collect and evaluate employees, suggest and reward those that contribute to cost reduction initiative. The next for the responses, the next for the emergency response plan, the management team should establish a system for regular financial analysis and report to monitoring the financial health of the organization. This include tracking key financial metrics, conducting cash flow projections, and performing scenario analysis to anticipate and address potential cost challenges. The next risk is the lack of innovation. For the mitigation plan, they should allocate resources to research and develop one activity to stay updated with emerging technologies and market trends. Try to establish a daily dedicated team or department responsible for exploring new technology, conducting market, market research and identifying opportunity for innovation. They can recruit more youngsters as they know the era more than older generation. For the monitoring plan, they can stay updated with the market trends, customer needs and the technological advantage advancement through continuous market research and trend analysis. Monitor industry report, competitor activity, and customer feedback to identify emerging opportunity and potential area for the innovation. Also encourage open communication channel and create feedback loops to incorporate suggestion and continuously improve the innovation process. For the emergency response plan, they can develop contingency plan to address potential disruption or challenge to innovation initiative. This may involve ident identifying alternative source of funding, relo relocating resource or adjusting innovation strategy to adapt to challenging circumstances. Encourage employees to embrace a grow mindset, experiment with new ideas, the iterate on Exiting innovation based on feedback and market insight. For the next risk is limited marketing advertising reach. For the mitigation plan, conduct through market research to identify target audience and customer segments. Segment the market based on demographic, physiographic, or other relevant focus. Develop market market marketing strategy 
and can bench direct to each segment to maximize reach the effectiveness. They should also try to develop a bed bed. They should also try to develop a web based system to sell the car so that the so to increase the profit. For the monitoring plan, utilize the analysis tool and platform to gather data and analyze analyze the performance of marketing campaigns. Monitor website analytics, social media insight, and advertising metric to gain insight to audience behavior, engagement patterns, and campaign effectiveness. Use this data to make data-driven decision and optimize marketing effort. Emergency response plan. They should ensure that the marketing effort Efforts are not heavily reliant on a single channel of platform. If a specific marketing channel or platform experiences a disruption or become the less effective, have alternative challenge or backup plan in place to maintain reach and visibility. Thank you. That's all for our presentation.